for your safety, remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train, and be sure to watch your kids. If any of you folks are wearing hats or glasses, just remove them, because this here's the wildest ride in the wilderness. You can never go wrong coming to Epcot. Every time you walk in here, you see this awesome, awesome, awesome spaceship Earth. I love this so much though. So. Oh yeah, let's go ride. Hey guys, so today I am gonna make a Disney coaster challenge. I am gonna ride every roller coaster on Disney property today. I'm starting here at Epcot to ride Guardians of the Galaxy. And then, I'm not sure, maybe I'll go to Hollywood Studios after that. So I decided that's just not challenging enough for me as it is. So I'm only gonna take Disney transportation to get to every other park. So I drove here to Epcot. My car is gonna stay here until later on. And I'm only gonna use Disney transportation to get around until I can make it to each one of these coasters today. So it's nothing but a coaster enthusiast stay here at Disney. So I got my Millennium Force shirt. You know, there's another great hyper right there. And you know, Giga I should say. And you know, always gonna be the most fun on a Disney day. So let's go head over to Guardians because I believe it's about my time to ride. And let's see if I can do this challenge today. You know guys, I totally forgot to add the other part of my challenge today too. I will not be using Lightning Lane to get on any of these coasters today. The only exception to any reservation I made was for Guardians because you have to do a virtual queue to even be able to ride that. So with that said, you know, using Disney transportation to get to every park, <laughs> no Lightning Lane, and I'm gonna ride every coaster on Disney property today. So, like I said, this is gonna be an awesome challenge. I'm totally digging this and looking forward to it. So, let's go head over to Guardians, because Guardians is amazing. And just like that, it's time to go ride the first coaster of the day. Let's go get on Guardians and have it our Vacoma way. Oh, love myself some new Vacoma. Speaking of Vacoma, guys, that new coaster at Dollywood looks awesome, because they just announced that. I just watched the POV for it. So, let's go ride another awesome Vacoma have some more Disney fun. Guardians is down, first coaster of the day. So there's no other coasters inside Epcot. So I think I'm gonna go over to Hollywood Studios and get on Rock and Roller Coaster and Slinky Dog. So let's go head over there and do some more coaster fun. But God, I really love this ride. Guardians is such a good ride, guys. You seriously need to get Epcot and give it a ride. So much fun. I say that every time I ride it, but it's super awesome. So let's get charging, head over and uh, get some Slinky Dog action. And just like that, we're almost completely to the other side of Epcot. Gonna go catch the Skyliner and head over to Hollywood Studios, guys. Like I said, go get some slinky dog action going on. And just like that, we are at the Skyliner. Always love riding gondolas. Or a Von Roll, but this isn't a Von Roll. Von Roll, shout out to my friend Jerry Ferguson, who's operated a Von Roll for a very long time. The turnaround. Here we stop. <laughs> this is really cool how it like actually turns like this. Cause you can't build a lift like this without creating another station for the stop. Cause it's on a pulley system where it's gonna pull it around. So it's technically impossible without it actually coming off the wire and doing this. So it's one of those kind of cool things that I know just about lifts and uh, gondolas and stuff like this. Super awesome. Love the Skyliner. So I made it to the halfway point for the Skyliner, but they're down for lightning right now, so you guys know how that is. Anywhere lightning, 10 mile radius, gotta shut them all down. It's just like a coaster, you know, big old metal object in the air, so 
perfect lightning bolt. So we're gonna hang out here for a sec until we can get over to Hollywood. Once the lightning decides it doesn't want to strike anymore. So yeah, the Skyliner's down. So they're putting us on a bus to go over to Hollywood Studios right now. So like I said, guys, only taking Disney transportation to get around the ride every coaster here today. So let's go get on the bus and get over to Studios. First bus of the day, so let's go jump on the Hollywood Studios bus. I guess this counts as a ride in one way or another, right? <laughs> as you can see, I got all drenched. So, it's all good. But, you know, I can't go on Slinky Dog right now, so I'm gonna have to wait to go on that for a little bit. So I'm gonna head over to Rock and Roller Coaster because it's inside, so I have a better chance of riding it, at least while it's gonna rain and lightning. So, let's go head over to Rock and Roller Coaster. Have some fun. So I decided to come to ABC Commissary to get some lunch today. So let's go cruise inside and see what's good. It's one of the few places here I've never tried before. So let's go get some deliciousness. So I totally went with the chicken sandwich. It looks really, really good. I got this arugula salad, which is going to be even better to go with it. So you guys know how it is. Always got to get what's good and every time you go to the park. So lunch at ABC Studio is actually pretty good, guys. The chicken sandwich I had had this avocado crema on it, which was super good with the bacon and then that arugula salad was actually really bomb. So kind of stoked that I headed over here because uh, Rock and Roller Coaster was down. So I'm not sure if it's quite back up yet, but either way, I'm still gonna have to go check it out and uh, get my ride on Slinky Dog so I can get out of here and on to the next one. But you now let's keep on cruising and go see what we can ride coaster wise. Always an awesome coaster enthusiast day. Honestly, I've been kind of stoked about it, even though I've only ridden one so far. Like, it's been kind of an adventure so far. I love that. So, let's go see what I can ride. I really do love after it rains here. <laughs> the temperature dropped like 15 degrees. It actually feels tolerable. Just like the Hollywood Tower Hotel over there and all its craziness. Not riding that today, but Rock and Roller Coaster is back up and we are headed over there right now to go get our rock on. See you guys in the circle pit. And here we are, ready to ride the second Vacoma of the day. This Vacoma is always awesome in its own way too. Like I said before guys, this thing reminds me of an old arrow, the way that it rides. So, can't wait to get inside and go to the punk rock show. <laughs> The whiskey, huh? Yeah. Been there a bunch of times. It's a cool venue. Anything on the Sunset Strip's always good. Love the whiskey. You know, the more I ride Rock and Roller Coaster, the more I really start to just love it. Like, good, solid, awesome Tacoma. Like, the inside of it, the theming's super cool. Like, Aerosmith, I love them. So, you know, like, rock gods right there. And it's just a fun, awesome layout. I mean, it's not too crazy of a layout at all. It's just fun. And like I said, guys, it rides like an old arrow, and you know how much I love old arrows. So, you know, this is, it's moving up in the list with each passing ride. I had a back row ride this time. I had a back row ride last time and that's just where it's at, seriously. So it's off the slinky dog now because it's not raining and even though the sky looks dark, it might start raining, but hopefully I can get on slinky dog and then we can get out of here and go over to Animal Kingdom. So with that said, let's cruise over and uh, go to Toy Story Land. Oh yeah, we made it over to Toy Story Land. You know what that means? Time for some Slinky Dog action. I love some Slinky Dog. This awesome mock rides launch coaster right here. Slinky Dog time.
I just noticed they have this random piece of track laying down there you guys you see it oh, it's kind of crazy it's right by where like it goes into the tunnel right before the launch interesting I totally found my way up the slinky dog dash let's go give this awesome mock rides coaster a ride oh yeah Slinky Dog. What could I say? It's a Toy Story coaster. It's in Andy's backyard. Hey, it's a backyard coaster. It's super fun though, but gotta love your, gotta love some Slinky Dog. Anything that's Toy Story is always cool. So that's actually gonna close out this part of uh, Hollywood Studios. So I am actually gonna go head over to Animal Kingdom now and go ride Expedition Everest because why not? Let's go get some Vacoma action now after that awesome mock rides launch coaster. So. That's going to clear out this park and let's go continue on this. I guess it's a coaster trip, right guys? <laughs> it's like a close park coaster trip, I guess you can say. So it's been pretty awesome so far. So out of here and on to the next adventure. As you guys can see, the sky's still pretty dark. So the Skyliner still isn't going, even though I can't take the Skyliner to Animal Kingdom. So we're going to go jump on another bus and go take that over to Animal Kingdom. And let's go see what's good. Bus number 34 to Animal Kingdom. Not here yet. So let's hang out for a sec and jump on when it gets here. And there's our Animal Kingdom bus. I'm gonna jump on that and let's go get the second to last park credit. All right guys, another bus ride later. We are at Animal Kingdom. Let's go ride Expedition Everest across this coaster off my coaster challenge list for the day. It's been pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Hope the weather holds out. The sky doesn't look too dark, so should be a good time. Let's go get inside the park. So guys, we are inside this beautiful park, headed over to Expedition Everest to go give it a ride. And I just checked the wait time. It's only like 15 minutes. So it's gonna be an easy challenge for me to get this done today. Then after that, it's gonna be the real challenge, going to Magic Kingdom. It's gonna get radical over there because there's a bunch of credits over there. And yes, I'm gonna count Space Mountain as two roller coasters because there's two different tracks on there. So I'm gonna ride Space Mountain twice and I'll be the only one I ride twice today, even though they are different sides, the Alpha side and the Omega side. So with that said, let's go uh, head over to Expedition Everest and get this coaster credit for here today. The bird is super awesome. I love that. Seriously. <laughs> and just like that, I found myself a snowy mountain with a roller coaster inside. Almost there. <laughs> love that. And just like that, guys, we're in the queue for Expedition Everest. So we got the one credit here. And then, like I said, it's off the Magic Kingdom. So totally going to do this today. I love that. Expedition Everest, what can I say guys? That is an awesome ride. Super fun, super cool theme, and another coaster credit done for the day. Another Vacoma down too, I should say. So let's get on cruising and uh, go get over to Magic Kingdom.
And just like that, guys, we're back at the bus lanes, taking the bus over to Magic Kingdom so we can go ride the last of the last. Totally stoked on this. I know, I so know I'm gonna be able to do this today. Got about five and a half more hours till the park closes and I got a couple coasters more to go. So let's go head over to MK and go ride some more coasters. <laughs> Number three, and we're in the Magic Kingdom queue. And just like that, friends, we are at the final park of the day. Just got off the bus, came straight up to the gate. Let's go get in and ride some more coasters the Magic Kingdom way. So now that we're in the park, I totally think I'm gonna go ride the Barnstormer because the Barnstormer's got the shortest wait right now. So let's go head over there and knock that credit out and then see what else plays about right after that. Oh, I love walking down Main Street USA. Always, whether it's this one or the one in Anaheim, either way, you can't go wrong. Just like this, guys, we found the Barnstormer. Let's go head over and jump in that queue. Hey guys, I'm over here in the Barnstormer queue and you can get a really good view of that new Vacoma over there. Totally looking forward to Tron when it comes about. That's gonna be an awesome coaster. I mean, if it's anything like Guardians, the other new Vacoma that Disney built, this is gonna be pretty incredible. I mean, I'm sure you guys have all seen the one that's overseas, but this thing's gonna be awesome. So hopefully I can catch it testing one of these days. So totally looks like a lot of fun. You guys so know I had to get Barnstormer. It's another coaster on Disney property today. So another coaster down. I think I'm gonna head to the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train now and go get that credit because that line gets pretty radical, especially as it gets later in the night. So, you know, Barnstormer was fun. Super awesome family coaster. So let's go uh, charge on over and go get ourselves some Seven Dwarfs. Even more of a coma action. Today's just a Vacoma packed day. So many Vacomas in one place. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go jump in the queue for the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. One of the last coasters I got to today. Seven Dwarfs mine, cra mine Train Coaster. That one's crossed off. We've got one ride on Big Thunder, two rides on Space Mountain, and then that's every coaster in Disney World done in one day. So let's go get over there. Let's go head to Big Thunder next. And then I think I'll just lap uh, Space Mountain a little bit later on. Love that. It's been so much fun riding all these different coasters all day. <laughs> Such a crazy coaster enthusiast day. So let's go head over to uh, Big Thunder and ride the wildest ride in the wilderness. We are so cruising along the rivers of America. Headed over to Big Thunder. Gonna go get that other train action going on because that's always what's good. Every time I come over here, like, 
guys have no idea how much it trips me out. Cause I grew up going to Disneyland. So like when I come to like Magic Kingdom, I like picture a lot of it as Disneyland in a way because it's so similar and it's so different. So it just keeps it interesting for me every time I come here and I gotta remind myself about where I am. But either way, it's always a good time. You guys totally know I had to get a Mickey pretzel. He's hiding, he's hiding. It's gonna bite his ear off. Mmm, super yummy. Let's go ride Big Thunder now. <laughs> and just like that, guys, we're at Big Thunder. Crossing another one off the list. Here we go. And partners, for your safety, remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train, and be sure to watch your kids. If any of you folks are wearing hats or glasses, just remove them, because this here's the wildest ride in the wilderness. Pick Thunder. Always one of my favorites, no matter what. This one's good. Just as good as the one in Cali, actually. Like, I totally dig this one, too. So, with Big Thunder down, that means there's one coaster left. And then I've ridden everything at Walt Disney World, coaster-wise, in one day. But you see, I saved the most challenging for last because Space Mountain may just be a coaster, but there's two tracks on there. So technically, that's two more coasters I still have to ride to complete riding everything here in one day, which it's been pretty awesome and it's been pretty crazy. So let's go get over there and enjoy the last hour that the park's open because I'm totally gonna get two rides on space and knock them both out. Love that, so much fun. Ah, oh, the castle looks so awesome at night. And we're cruising, we're heading over to go get Space Mountain. All these guests waiting for the fireworks. And the awesomeness that is the castle. To Tomorrowland we go, guys. Just head on over and go ride some space. Like I just said to you guys in front of the castle. I love, I love this whole area. Tomorrowland's always been one of my favorites, like forever and ever and ever. Oh yeah, the Astro Orbiter looks freaking awesome right now. Well guys, here's the last one. Let's go jump on Space Mountain and get that lap because that's what's good. Then I'll come right back and do it one more time because I'm totally going to be able to do it twice. Oh yeah, we are in the station. First side of Space Mountain and then we'll get right back in line and we're going to go ride the other side. Alright guys, I totally just got off of Space Mountain and had a back row ride this time. Super fun. And yeah, that's every coaster at Disneyland. I'm just at Disneyland, Walt Disney World in one day. Except Space Mountain one more time. Gotta go ride the other side and then I am officially done. And I couldn't be more stoked right now. Oh that was a good ride right now. I think that's the best ride I've ever had on Space Mountain here. Like, it just got good little airtime pops and it's just super fun. So let's go jump back in line and have some more Space Mountain time. <laughs> Had Omega side earlier, Alpha side this time. Let's go guys, go get on the last coaster today. Space Mountain, what can I say? Both sides and every other coaster here today. Like legit, that was uh, totally awesome. I'm totally glad I saved like to do this both last, you know. I did two laps on here on one on each side because it was actually a lot better in the back. So I guess this is a back row ride. 
I think I only wrote in the, like, the front, because I've only written it two other times before today. And I think I did the front both times, because I know I did the front last time, so. Space Mountain's definitely a backer ride, and I actually kind of like it a little bit more after this, so. Yeah, but the park, we got a little bit of time till the park closes, so I think I'm gonna go do something else because I accomplished awesomeness today. Every one of the Disney parks, every one of the coasters. Well guys, this is gonna conclude my adventure to Disney property today, riding every coaster that I possibly can. So, you know, it's been an incredible day. Like this is one of the best days I've had at Walt Disney World since I became a cast member, to be honest with you guys, you know? Super cool adventure, lots of super cool coasters today. Like, riding every coaster that's in every one of these parks today has just like seriously been truly incredible. So much fun. Well, I'm gonna end this here and I'm gonna take off and go enjoy the rest of my night because I gotta take the monorail all the way back over to Epcot to go get my car. Cause like I said, I didn't use Lightning Lane today and I only use Disney transportation to get around to all these different parks. So yeah, my car's at Epcot, so I'm gonna do that. I challenge anybody to take this challenge and totally do it. Ride every coaster at Walt Disney World only and getting around, only using like the, the standby lane and only using Disney transportation to get around. I challenge anyone to do it. It's a lot of fun and super cool way to, to spend your day here, you know? And with that said, guys, Please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel because you never know what crazy awesome place I might go to next. Maybe I'll come back here to Walt Disney World and maybe go to Animal Kingdom. Maybe I'll go to Knobles in Pennsylvania. You know, maybe I'll go to Six Flags Discovery Kingdom up in Vallejo. You never know. Either way, you know, as always, so much fun. And another coaster or two or three or something crazy later on. Much love to everyone in my trans family. Stay safe, beautiful, and amazing. And uh, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Love you all. Jump aboard our rainbow train as the train launches forward and away.